one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So just say if I have one tea for the day, that's this. Hello, ladies. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody is blessed and in the most of positive spirits. I'm repacking um, my suitcase. Um, I do believe in um, packing your suitcase twice. So you should have like a, um, like a pre-packing. Um, what I mean by that is you should be packing your suitcase one month prior to your surgery because usually the, you, the first time that you pack, you overpack, okay? So be, due to the fact that you overpack, what you do is when you know it's maybe about, uh, maybe about a week prior or a few days prior to your surgery, you go back in your suitcase again and you look at all the unnecessary things that you have in your suitcase that you really, really don't need. So what I'm doing today is I'm repacking my suitcase. I'm going to pack up everything that I need. So uh, if you catch this replay later, um, that's fine. Um, but this is a specific video on me packing my suitcase, planning to go for surgery on Wednesday. I have my pre-op appointment on Tuesday. And then my surgery date is on Wednesday, which is the 21st, okay? Um, uh, so I'm going to show you what I've packed so far. I haven't really got knee deep into it, but we'll start. I'm going to show you, um, come on in and say hi. Um, so if you see me, come on and say something, say hi. Hi. And I can, I wish I had kind of like a better chair. Let me see if I can move this up away and turn this chair around. Hi, Vicky. Hey, beautiful. Um, I say this every single single live, and the reason why I say this uh, every single live because I just want people to know it. Uh, this is my personal page. Yes, even though it's a surgery page, but this is also my personal page. Please don't come and lurk because this is a private page. If I feel that you're not in here to say nothing, you just here to watch, and I say because I I don't have to do this. Okay. Um, You'll be blocked. I will delete your ass off my damn page. It's just that simple, okay? Um, so, so it's important that we come in here, have a good time, chat up, talk about what we want to talk about, and just keep it 100, right? So what I want to do is I want to share what's in my bag. Now, I, got, I just went and bought me a, a two suitcases today. Um, my other suitcase is in the back. I'm going to show you that suitcase so I can tell you how that went. Hi, everybody. Okay. So... Um, Everybody, I need everybody to get a pen and paper. This is so, I can't stress to you how important this is right now um, for you to get some pen and paper. Um, at this point, you will, because I'm not going to repeat myself. You're just going to have to um, rewatch the video. Okay. Um, we are going to go with as far as while you're in pain, what you need for your pain. Okay. And all the things that you should be taking. So that's what I have packed here. Did I take vitamins with me? No, I didn't even put that in there yet, um, but I will take that with me. Um, give me a second on that one, but I'm just giving you all the pain, the pain stuff that your body is going to need, okay? You are going to need extra strength Tylenol. Let me open this up. You're going to need extra strength Tylenol. This is what you're going to be taking um, during the day, okay? And you are going to take this every two to six hours, I think it is. I think this is every two to six hours. Yeah, take two. Oh, no, no, no. Take two tablet caplets at... No, that's for the PM. Wait. The direction should be on here, too. I'm catching a little headache. Hold on. I got these things in my ear. It's just easier if I... I hate having to reach over. Hey, Tosh. Hey, boo. Okay. All right. So, this is the Tylenol Extra Strength. Um, and... The instruction goes as follows. Take two caplets every six hours 
while symptoms last, okay? Do not take more than six caplets in 24 hours unless directed by doctor, okay? So you're going to take two caplets every six hours, all right? Most of the time you're going to be sleeping, but every six hours you can take this. So this is going to be your daytime. That's the Tylenol extra strength, okay? That's daytime. Then you're going to have your Tylenol PM. This one right here, when I take Tylenol PM, I only take this one time for the day. Um, so I would take it at night. That would probably be maybe around 10 o'clock at night. The later, the better, so that you can have more sleep. All right, so this one, it says, you're gonna take, take two caplets at bedtime. Do not take more than two caplets of this product in 24 hours. So you're gonna use this only at bedtime. So preferably during the day, you're gonna be using the other two. And then this one, you're gonna be using late at night. So I will preferably take this around maybe about 10 o'clock, 10, 1030, the latest, if depending on you know your sleep pattern and how early you're gonna to go to sleep at night, which in the first few couple of days, you're gonna be knocked out anyway. So you take this at like 10, 30, 10, 10, 30 at night, all right? Tylenol PM, because you're going to want to sleep, you're going to need your sleep, and it's going to be uncomfortable, but this is going to knock you out. When it was time for me to get on my flight, this is from my tummy tuck, I actually didn't take Tylenol PM. I took Benadryl. Benadryl is what knocked me out. I had took my other medication maybe about an hour prior, but I did take Benadryl, and my entire flight, I was knocked out. By the time I opened my eyes and I woke up, I was already home. So my, my flight was a two-hour flight, okay? That's that. You need to get yourself some pineapple tea, okay? Where's the box? Here's the box right here. Here's the box right here. Go get you, here's some pineapple tea. Um, go to Amazon and you can purchase this right on Amazon, okay? Some pineapple tea. So if you don't like pineapples, um, if you, yeah, if you don't like pineapples, you know what I'm missing? My Arnica pills. I just realized that's what I'm missing. My Arnica pills. My, my Arnica pills are missing. So if you don't want to take too much Tylenol, you can take the Arnica pills. My, they're probably downstairs. I just have to go look for them, okay? So what I did was, because I know I'm staying a total of six days and five nights, I took 10 packs of tea with me. So um, when I get there the day of, did you see my DM sis? No, Tasha, I haven't, I haven't, been, on, I haven't been on social media um, today. I've been out in the street and... Um, I have my own little rendezvous, so I took a break from social media. Okay, so I have the day that I arrive, I'm going to be drinking my pineapple tea so I can get myself ready for surgery the next day, okay? The day of surgery, I'm more than likely, I'm going to wake up, I'm only going to drink one of them. Then I'm going to have two the next day. Then the day after that, I'm going to have another two. And then the day after that, I have another two. And then until I leave, I'll be having that. So you want to let you want to pack at least 10 you want to pack at least 10 pineapple teas with you, okay? You also want to pack your Arnica tea. Where is my Arnica tea? Eh, no different. I, I'll find that one too. It's probably downstairs in the box. I just have to go through my stuff, okay? So I'm still packing. So I've got that. Um, something else you want to have, go get yourself some maximum strength um, odor-free aspirin cream numbs away the pain. Desensitizes aggravated nerves, fast acting and penetrating, not irritating. I swear. Hi, Nisi. Hey, beautiful. I swear. Hello, pretty. Hello, pretty. Like, I'm serious about this. Hello, pretty. How you doing, boo? Hey, come on in. Say hi. I can see when you pop in. This is my personal page. Come on in, guys. I've got a lot of information to put out, and there's a lot of things that I know that you guys need, things that you may not know that you need, some things you probably bypassed because you wasn't sure of what you need. I'm going to show you everything that you need. I'm not going to show you nothing that might work or maybe you think that you need to take with you i'm going to tell you exactly what you need this right here i swear by this you need to have this with you okay please i'm begging you take yourself to cvs take yourself to walgreen take yourself to rite aid guys you will thank me later get yourself some asper cream okay um that's that so this is i think this is like this is the liquid version okay you got that next thing right here this is the aspirin cream with lidocaine. No mess, numbs away the pain. I put all these on together, okay? Look at this. This right here, you press that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll that on your stomach. You're going to thank me later for buying this. This right here, I, I bought like four of these. So I'm just taking one with me, but I have three more here. Because I know when I come back, I'm going to be in a lot of pain. So I make sure that I have... Oh, oh, sorry. Let me put it up. Let me put it... Yes, yes. No, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, it doesn't have no smell. Oh, my God. Cash up, right? I know, right, sis? This right here is everything. 
I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you all the good, good stuff that works. So you don't have to be packing a whole bunch of stuff. Everything that you see that I'm packing right now, guys, make sure you have it with you. Okay. Next thing too. Ask for cream, the lidocaine, dry spray, numbs away the pain. So if you don't want to put the liquid or if you don't want to even touch your skin and put this on, you can use the actual spray. This is maximum strength. You can also get this at your Walgreens, um, CVS, Rite Aid. Um, you can probably even get this at Walmart, I'm sure. I swear by this also. Like, y'all like Jude is going. I am. I need to make sure I am secure. Even though my recovery house says they have a lot of things, I my thing is I'm going to make sure I'm straight. I'm not going to put my, I can't put my trust in anybody um, knowing that there might be a possibility that, that, that they, I, you know, you know how people may ration things off? No, I want to have available things to me. So I bring my own stuff. You know, you may give me some and then you'll be like, well, you want too much. Now you got to pay for it. No, don't worry about it, baby. I, I, I pack my own shit. You, you get what I'm saying? I pack my own shit. So that's that. Next thing you can bring with you too is the first aid. Cuts, scrapes, chafting, minor burns, and sunburn. This is the candula cream. Soothing, moisturizing, um, paraben-free works naturally with your body. I swear this also, okay? This is the candula cream. You can screenshot that as well. I sure will show the tea again, boo. This is the pineapple tea. You get this, you purchase this on Amazon. Okay? What you need? You need something? No, I'm good. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, see if you see any of my um my tea boxes downstairs. My arnica tea. I think I have arnica tea downstairs inside of the uh. It? Yeah, it's inside of the pantry. All right. Am I missing anything else? Hold on, hold on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. The tea. Did I just show the tea, sis? Or maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. Here's the pineapple tea. Boom. All right. Then you have the hemp oil ultra premium diet dietary supplement now if you know you feel like you're probably taking too many pills a day and you don't want to take this you need to take this right here this hemp oil this is going to also knock you out and you're going to see how the pain is going to go from the top of your head to the soles of your feet everything is going to go away you will be pretty much numb okay you'll be pretty much numb so this is something that i definitely swear by it wasn't cheap it was probably i think it was 40 something dollars or 59 dollars. i'm not sure this is a one ounce bottle i think it is but i swear by this i swear by this this helped me so much especially with my breasts after i had my breast augmentation i was in so much pain oh my god for my breasts my breast was one it was the worst experience ever okay I, it was it, it just wasn't a great experience for me but i healed from it though i healed and it took a long time it took some time all right uh so we just want to numb away the body that's what we're doing we're focusing on numbing away our body do you plan to use hibiscus or just anti i'm just using um antibacterial soap i'll show you all the stuff that i got in on this bag boo i'm just using i, I never use hibiscus i didn't use hibiscus um the first time nor the second time nor am i using it this time i have antibacterial soap i didn't get any infections i didn't get any nothing so antibacterial syrup works just fine just saying but i do have hibiscus i ordered it am i probably going to use it i don't know i doubt it. i don't know but am i going to take a bottle with me i will take a bottle with me though because i did order it on amazon but i use antibacterial soap both of my surgeries okay um next thing we got here is Anybody ever heard of Tiger Bomb? You can get this at Walgreens uh, for like $4.99. This right here will help with your pain as well. Look, guys, like I, I know I'm going to be in pain, so I just want to be, I want to be covered. I want to be covered. But if you don't know about this Tiger Bomb right here, when you have like muscle aches, back aches, anything soreness, any type of pain, this right here will knock that joker right out. So with the combination of all of this stuff, your body will be numb and you won't be feeling anything. You'll be able to up and move around like how I was after I had my tummy tuck, okay? Um, let me see. Um, um, Camphor ointment, pain relieving rub. I purchased this at an international market. So what this does, it this helps with muscle and joint pain, um, back aches and arthritis, strains and sprains and, and itching. So this right here is something that I definitely recommend. You can get this at your... Uh, international supermarket or you can screenshot this and see if you can find this on Amazon I'm not sure if you can find it on Amazon but you can look but I know definitely you can find this at the international market okay 
that's that boom next thing that i have is the lymphatic drainage i swear by this product i swear by this product i had this for both of my procedures my last two procedures um round one and round two um this is called the lymphatic drainage i swear by this product take this and this will help you drain so much um a lot of times when you hear ladies talking about that their body is stiff that they're in so much pain is one because they're not getting enough massages they're not being massaged and they have so much built up fluid where your body gets so tight and you feel restricted and you can't hardly move and you're just in a lot of pain another big thing is too is after have after you have surgery sisters i prop you have to walk you have to get that blood circulating you have to get it moving because you don't want blood clots so you have to keep moving i know it hurts baby i know you're tired i know but you have to move around. Understand too is that the Percocets can also give you a yeast infection, okay? So you want to kind of like minimize that and also will help you and also make you constipated. Make sure you are taking your um your um your antibiotics to to prevent infections as well. So the medication that the doctor gives you for that, make sure you take that. But for Percocets, everybody doesn't feel comfortable to take their Percocets. And some people just go straight to Tylenol PM. I'm not a trooper like that. I know I made sure I took my, um, it was Tylenol Codeine that they gave me at Goals. But I think I got, I got Percocets the last time I did I get Codeine. I think that's what I got. I'm not sure. But I took that one hour prior to my um, massages. You are going to need it because you're going to be in excruciating pain. You're going to be in pain. What's the level of the pain? It's a 10. The first couple of massages will be a 10. The first one, hey, doe back, hey, boo. The first one's going to be painful. The second one's going to be painful. The third one, the third one, it'll ease up, but it'll still going to be painful. But after the fourth um, a massage, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. My very first one, I had 15 massages. So, um, and I had two a day. Um, my, uh, my massage therapist, I did 60 minute, um, massages. So I think it was hers for like 30 minutes. It was like $95 or whatever, but I just did a whole 60 minutes. I did, I needed two massages. I said, I need two massages a day. I need two massages a day. So she said she would just do one hour massages with me or whatever. So what I'm going to be doing, doing one hour massages with her. And then I'm going to be doing one at, um, um, glamorous dolls. Okay. So I will have two really, it's going to be one hour with Zella and then it's going to be, um, my other massage for the day is going to be with um, uh, Glamorous Dolls, okay? Um, um, 110 was the level. Yes, a 10. The level of pain. You just have to remember why you did this, okay? I know you're going to be laying there on that table. You're like, why did I do this to myself? What was I thinking? But you know what? After you heal and you are so happy with your results and you start looking good, you start feeling good, and you understand why. Because it, it's it's stressful. But at the same time, you need to do it. I always tell people, like, if you don't have the money to get surgery, if you don't have the money for recovery, no, not necessarily surgery, because anybody can get to collect the money for the surgery. If you do not have money for the post-op care, do not get surgery. I'm going to repeat it one more time. If you do not have money for post-op care, do not waste your time getting surgery, because that is the most important part of this whole thing is your recovery your recovery is going to set the tone on how you heal so you need massages even after you leave miami and you return home you need your lymphatic massages because i'm telling you you don't understand what it's going to do. when i tell you it's going to do so much for you your body's going to feel so much better you're not going to be stressed out you're not going to be stiff you'll be able to move those massages are going to meet everything that it's it's going to dictate how you're going to move at nine days post-op i was driving nine days post-op i was driving okay so I'm, I'm just telling you so it's all about what you're putting in um and like i said what you're putting in your body as well next thing i have the lymphotonic um stimulates powerful lymphatic um cleansing so you have the liquid and you also have the pill form you can take either or or you can take both i'm taking both let me tell you something i'm prepared all right Next thing, bromelain, okay? Bromelain is the enzyme that is found in pineapples, okay? So you have the pineapple tea and you have your pineapple, um, and then you have your bromelain. I have the tablets as well, so I'm taking the tablets and I'm also drinking the pineapple tea, okay? And also eating pineapples when I get there. Hey, Nicole, hey, boo. Um, then I also have my jache oil, okay? Um, I am Once I know that I am leaving, um, I waited on day... I waited... I waited day three. Day three is when, when I know my hole was really starting to about to start closing, 
And then I started putting Jache oil on my incisions. I didn't touch it. I never, ever touched it. All I did was just, all I did was just put it right on top. By the time on day six, when I went to go see um, um, Dr. Chavez, um, my, my, my holes were closed. Okay. By the time I was done with her, I mean, it was literally, they were closed. Um, and I was so happy. I was so, so happy about that. Um, so that's what I used. Okay. Um, also this helped also for my itching. I use the butter and the Jache oil together that helped with my itching. I don't use anything else on my skin. As you can see my, my face. Yeah. Right. So that's what I use on my skin. That's how, that's what I use to take it. So it's the hair growth and body care bundle is what I use on my hair and also what I use all over my body. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Nope. That's this right here. So let me pack this stuff away so I can get the rest of my other stuff in. So these are the next things that I need to show you on what you need to have. That thing here, I'm not bringing that with me. All right. So remember I was telling you guys that you will be scratching. You will be itching. Okay. Okay. Why are a lot of girls I know are fainting? Why does the hemo drop so low? Um, I would say because maybe because they um a lot of uh, loss of blood. Um, and are any of the girls who are getting it um who her blood is dropping as well? Was there hemoglobe? Was the hemo um globe? Was it low? Or was it high? Like mine's was a 14.4. Okay, so when you see people who would have like a 11 or they are struggling, they were at a 10 and they're struggling, people who are struggling to get their hemoglobe higher, I don't even recommend that. You need to be steady. And if I feel like if you're not, if you're struggling to get to 12, do you get what I'm saying? If you're struggling to get to 12 um, and you're below, you're like in the 10s, in the 9s, I've seen people at 8, 9, 10. If your hemoglobin is that low, you should not be getting surgery. You need to be working on your body. A lot of people want to get surgery and they don't even eat right. They don't even take care of their bodies. They're not taking vitamins. They don't drink enough water. They don't eat vegetables. They don't eat green leafy things. They, they put a lot of trash in their body. And, 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 and there are people that want surgery. You can't do that. Remember, what you put in is what you're going to get out. Does that make sense? Do you, does that make sense? What you put in is what you're going to get out. So if you put good things in your body, good things will happen. I mean, it is what it is. I don't, I don't know what else to say. That's right. But remember, cash, remember, everybody, everybody doesn't offer self-saver. See, Dr. Doback offers self-saver. Every surgeon doesn't. I know Cannon didn't, doesn't offer self-saver. That I know for a fact because I asked about that. He doesn't. So that really made me smile when I knew that Dobek offered that. So I said, okay, well, just in case if that is happening, but I've even heard that people who even got the self saver, that's if they really got it, that they, um, some were still fainting even after that. So I heard that too. So I don't know how true that is. So I'm just going back from what I know or what I've heard, but I'm not true and I'm not accurate on that, but I'm just saying, okay. So we got to think about if you know that you're getting surgery, you need to be preparing your body one. I think you need to be preparing your body one year prior to surgery. Get your mind right. Get your body right. Putting good things in your body. So when it's time for you to take your blood test, you're not sitting here winging it and guessing to see, oh, am, am I up to standards? Your body should have been up to standards a year prior to you having surgery. If you are, if you're, if you're thinking to go that route, it just makes sense. I, I mean, People are not even taking vitamins. They don't even drink enough water. They're putting, they're smoking, they're drinking, they're doing all these things. But within all the things that they're doing, they don't put healthy things in their body. And that's why when they do their blood work or whatever and certain things pop up, this is what shows forth because there's something you're not doing right. So change your eating habit. If you're not getting enough sleep, if you're not exercising, if you're not taking care of your temple, your temple is going to show you how much you don't take care of it. It's just that simple. Okay. All right. Now, what I have right here, I have my, um, I put my daily facial cleanser right here. This is by Equate. I'm bringing this with me. Do I even really need to bring this with me? I, I just like the fact that I have a liquid pump. Now I thought about just make, but I, I don't want to, Oh, this thing was even leaking. Was it leaking? See stuff like this. I don't like, I just want to have myself that I can sit right there on the, what you call it and just put that there. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just put that right on in the bathroom so I can sit right there. I just put it back in my bag. That's one there. I also see the thing opened on me. It opened. Julian! Yeah. Come here, boo. Yeah. 
Hey, Jew, come here, baby. Do me a favor. Go in my bathroom. Can you get me some paper towels that's in there? Paper towel. Yeah. Look on the on the on the tape on the sink. Uh, okay. Roll. Yep. Yep. Bring that to me. Let me wipe this down. Okay. All right. Thank you. Boo. Let me wipe this down real quick. Okay. We'll go over that in a sec. I have all that Floridex. I have it all. Hemoplex. Come on, honey. The iron pill supplements. Look, I got it all. I'll show all that stuff is in my bathroom. Okay. So look, we got Summer's Eve five and one. Yeah, I'm gonna use my Summer's Eve. Here's my, see, this is what, here's my antibacterial soap right here. I'm just using a bar of soap. Now, if you, I would, I think I want to use the hibiscus only because it's liquid and all I got to do is just kind of like pour it, you know, so I can be careful. I don't, this worked for me just fine, okay? The antibacterial soap. I got to clean up my bag because all the, the, this thing leaked in my bag. All right. I have my, I have my deodorant. Don't want your underarms. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring my liquid. I think I might just bring my liquid deodorant with me. So I've got my deodorant. Hold on, guys. Let me put this on the floor. No. Now how did that fall? Really? You know what? I also have my hand sanitizer. Okay, so I can sanitize everything. I'm also this particular vid I'm gonna put on YouTube as well, okay? So um I have my toner. I have my lemongrass facial toner from Jache Essentials. Okay, I've got my toner. My lemongrass toner. I also have... I also have my Jache Facial Serum for my face and for my nooks and cranny down there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Gotta keep it on fresh, fresh. Where's the spray? Where's my spray? Okay, look, look. We're gonna put everything back. Um, I also have my toothpaste. My toothpaste is, is my aloe vera toothpaste. This was me wish you all the best and quick recovery. Thanks, sis. How are you feeling? Here we go. Here's my aloe vera toothpaste. Uh, here's my brand new toothbrush. Okay, bring my toothbrush with me. Boom. Don't really. And then here is my my wipes. Okay, I have my summer's eve wipes and everything. Look how this stuff got on it. It's all good. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I gotta wipe this down so you can see what it is. Uh, I have my cleansing cloths. You see that? Cleansing cloths right there. Boom. Because you remember, for the first twenty-four for the first twenty-four hours, you cannot bathe. Remember that. For the first twenty-four hours, right after um, girl, make something hempy is for potheads. I'm, I'm cash. Who did your surgery, boo? I didn't even ask. I'm sorry, boo. Okay. I just got stuff. Every, I'm tight right now because all my stuff got everywhere. So I'm going to like repack my things. So I've got my claws. Because, you know, after you pee and stuff like that, you know, and you have your little um urinal and all that jazz. Um, You want to, you need to wipe your stuff. You need to be keep, because you don't want to smell all pissy. And, you get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to walk around here. Oh, sis, sis, oh, oh. Girl, sister, can you please tell us about your, honey, please tell us about your results, boo. I'm so happy for you, boo. Yes, honey. And how much, Um, what was your BMI and how much did you weigh? And what's your height? Okay, there's that in there. I got a few things that I'm putting in here. Okay, so that's everything that's packed in there, right? Let's put all my stuff back so I can make sure. We have everything. And I don't need too much. I just know the things that, I, that I'm actually using and the things that I actually need. All right. So that's that right there, right? Uh, okay, next, next bag. 
this bag right here is so important. This is the next important bag that you are going to need. Let me close this up real quick. I really want to take you with me, but should I bring a bar of soap? I'm going to have to wrap this up in its own. Duh, put this back in the thing. Duh, Juju. We'll just put that separate by itself. Okay. Now, here is what you need. Next bag. You need some of these pads right here. You need gauzes, okay? This is what I'm taking with me, okay? I'm taking that. You need yourself a pair of scissors so that you can be able to cut these right here, okay? So that you can put it over the gauze over your incisions, all right? You are also going to need your later urinal right here. Got that with me. Uh-huh. I got myself a bonnet. This is how my hair is going to be for surgery. I'm not doing anything fancy. Um, why? Because uh, I'm going to be in pain. I I'm, the last thing I'm going to do is worry about my hair. My hair is not touching my neck. It's not touching my back. I don't have to feel uncomfortable and move stuff out my face. You want something as simple as possible. You either do that or you're doing some um, braids. You're doing an updo or whatever. So you don't have anything touching anywhere, okay? Nobody wants to deal with their hair, especially after they just had surgery. So do the best that you can to do a simple, the most simplest hairstyle as possible, okay? I even think after surgery, you put a wig on and stuff, uh, your scalp will be itching. You'll be irritated. Well, depends on who it is. Me, I can't take anything on my hairline. I don't want nothing sitting on my head. So if I want to take this off, pop this off real quick, I can pop it right off and just put it to the side if I want to, but it's not tight at all, okay? Uh, I also have wipes, okay? I also have wipes in here. This is the washcloth wipes. So remember, the first 24 hours, you will not be able to take a shower. So you can have this as well and also so that you can clean your bottom, okay? So that's that and that for me. Make sure I do... I, do not forget your Arnica pills. Do not forget to pack the Arnica pills. All right. Now, we're going to put all of this on this side. That's what I'm going to do. All of this is going to go on this side. Now, what do I have here? I have a little massager right here. I have this right here. I also have a back scratcher. See how small it is? You can get this at your five and below dollar store. Take that because your back will scratch. So now this can reach where you cannot reach. You put that inside of your faja so that you can reach where you cannot reach. You want to touch right here without even using your hands because things feel funny. You use that and softly, softly scratch. <laughs> okay? Great investment. <laughs> now also, if you are too scared to do dry brush brushing as of yet, you can get yourself this. This is to wash dishes. I purchased this at my local dollar store. You can take this and you can dry brush yourself, okay? Dry brush yourself, okay? So that you can also drain out through your lymphatic system as well, okay? So I do recommend that. It's very, very soft. It's not going to hurt. It's very soft. Then you can also have your own little personal massager that you can purchase. Remember I showed you my vibrator? You've got the vibrator. Am I taking my, I'm not taking my vibrator with me. My vibrator is going to stay at home. I don't. I don't need that with me, but... Or maybe I will. Oh, maybe I take this one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I take them both. Who knows? We'll see. So I'm going to be using this one right here. Okay. The battery's dead, so I have to switch out the battery. Okay. Um, I he I says Tasha. I don't know where it is. I'll find. I'll figure it out. But I don't know where it is right now. I don't even know where it is. I can't remember. So I have to go clean my glam room. When I once I clean my glam room, then I can see where everything's at because so much stuff was coming in the mail, sis. I don't even remember where I put it. For real, I don't even remember. So those are the things that, these are the things that you need, not want. I'm just talking about the things that you need. Is that? Oh, okay. Okay. Now we're going to go into the next things. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm packing and I'm closing up my suitcase. Okay. I'm closing this part up so I don't have to deal with it anymore. All right. Once I close this up, I don't got other than adding my Arnica pills and stuff like that. Here's my toothbrush and this can go on this side uh my clothes is gonna go on that end uh oh maybe my clothes can go on this end instead okay so how about we'll do that i'll put my clothes on that part is that how you snap it is that how we snap it or something oh no oh never mind my clothes can go on that end so we're gonna put all the supplies on one side Ooh, this thing messed up my zipper. Let's fix the scissors real quick. Let's turn this down right here in the middle. Put it right in between there. 
All right. Let's close this up. I'm yo. When I say I'm straight, so remember when I was saying how guys, you can you do this now. The reason why you're gonna you're gonna pack one month prior, but then you're gonna pack again. You're gonna go right back through your stuff, and you're gonna see all the things that you need and all the things that you do not. Need, okay. All right. So that's that on that end. Now let's put this stuff on the bed so I can get to the other things. Okay, let's go. Let me turn y'all. What day is your surgery? I may have missed it. Um, sis, um, the day of my surgery is on the 21st. The 21st of October. That's next week, Wednesday. All right. So what you will need, you're going to need your front board. You're going to need your backboard. All right. You're going to need your backboard. You're going to need a front board. These are two front boards. I'm bringing two different ones with me, okay? So if one gets really bloody or whatever, I can just put on the other one, okay? There you go. Front board. And I got, I got two front boards, two different kinds. And the reason why I like this one, let me show you. Because when I put this in my faja, watch, you see? It also holds my mon, my mons right here. It pushes that in so it comes together. Where this one is here, but it doesn't really do much for your moms. You see that? Like, well, I have a very short torso, so it might help me a lot. But this one, to me, was more comfortable. I like, this was my favorite one. See how it, like, kind of takes up everything? Where I put this one. Was this, does that one do it too? Well, both of them do it. Okay, well, either way. So I've got all these. I have two of these. And a backboard, okay? Oh, I just remembered what I almost forgot. I just remembered what I almost forgot. My, um, what do you call those things? The phones. The actual phones. Where are my phones? Look at, would you look at that? You see how you can, you see how you can literally just forget something? So here are, here are my phones right here. I ordered these off of Amazon. Thanks, sis. So here are my phones. I only need two phones with me. These two phones that are coming with me are going to get bloody. We already know that. <laughs> I only need two phones with me. So when I remember how you see how little I am, right? You see how little I am, right? Wow. All right. I got one right here. I'm just showing you how small I am. So you can kind of like see, see there that goes right there. Okay. What, what you're trying to prevent is you don't want indentations on your skin. That's why you want to make sure you're putting on that front board on um, that front board. Okay. You got your backboard, you got your front board, and this is going to be right here on your sides right here. Okay. All right. There we go. For there, when I stick it in on each side, and then when I put on my camisole, always make sure you wear your camisole underneath your faja. Do not, I repeat, do not put your faja on without a cami because you do not want to have indentations on your skin. Okay, guys? All right, all right. So here is my two phones. I'm not taking these. These are staying home with me. Why? Because um, by the time I come back, I won't be bloody, okay? Yes, and make sure your cami is always inside out. Yes, Yoni. What? Just, just you got you said, okay. All right, we're getting ready to go. All right. What else am I missing? All right, let me see. Okay. My next bag, I have my, my compression socks. I have three pairs of compression socks. The compression socks you're going to have is um, during surgery, right? You're going to have your compression socks during surgery. They're going to get nasty. They're going to look yucky. They're going to look dirty. So you want to have three pair of compression socks. You're going to put one compression socks away that you're never going to touch. That is going to be the pair of compression socks that you're going to be wearing when you go back home. This is your traveling um, compression socks right here. Okay. Um, for the next day, when you take off those old ones while they're washing it, you're going to put these on. All right. So you have two to wear, you know, during the time that you're there. There's your two compression socks. Boom. All right. 
and then you have that one for travel so i have a total of three so i'll have a total of four compression socks the whole time i'm there including the one that they're going to give me there all right take our compression socks and put it right here booyah that goes right here okay also you want to make sure that you take at least depending on because the faja that they're going to give you your your titties are going to be out okay so get yourself like a a a, 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 a sports bra to put on i um this i had the one that i am i wearing one? Oh yeah so the one that i'm wearing and this one are the only two that i'm going to take with me there you don't need a lot of stuff your camisoles you want to have at least three that's it you only need three you don't need four or five six just bring three camisoles with you okay so what I would do is the one that you know that you're going to be traveling with, you can keep that to the side so you don't touch it. So you'll have that for when it's time for you to go back home. The other two are the two that you're going to be wearing in the midst of while you're recovering, while you're in Miami. Okay, so we're going to take that. We're going to take it and we're going to put this. Well, we're going to put this on the other side. Um, what I have, where is my robe? Here is my robe that I have. Let me take this off real quick. So y'all can see it. This is one of my favorite little robes. I got this from Walmart. I got this from Walmart. This is look, this, this is my little make me feel sexy robe. Okay, so this is what I'll be wearing. I won't be really wearing any of my clothes. I'll just be wearing, I'll just be wearing this and my faja and this. Okay, tie this up. And here's my little robe. Hello, Bella doll. Come on in. Please don't just lurk. Open your, please open your mouth and say something. Say hi. How you doing? This is my personal page. C come on. Hey, sisters. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Look. Now check this out. Okay. Look at this. See? I got a cute look, look, look. Because when I go there, honey, I need them to see this projection, honey. Do you hear <laughs> I need them to see this projection, girl. Look, look when look when I when I walk up in there after my surgery, I want to be like boom, boom. <laughs> Listen, doctor, just please make sure that my legs match, okay? You hear me? Please make sure that my legs match, okay, boo? <laughs> please and look, look, please and thank you. <laughs> Go. Go. Look, says no. We got my head, honey. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh! Look at honey, honey. So this is what me. This is me. This is me <laughs> moving around, baby. Do you, oh, honey, please. Can someone please take a screenshot of this, honey? Look, look. <laughs> ah! So, but this is my little thin one. Okay, this is my little. This is not my. My one out of this is not this is me wearing this this one I'm wearing around the recovery house okay, so it's either going to be either it's going to be either too cold or it's going to be either hot okay I'm not sure I don't know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack that right there. Now let me show you my let me make sure I get this in there. I also packed. Here's my camisoles. Remember I only have three of them. These are my old camisoles. I have three of them, and you make sure you remember you wear them inside out, okay? I also, this is what I'm going to try on. Let me, I'm going to show you because I'm going to try it on after I have this surgery. I'm going to put this on, okay? Just so I can see what my, my body looks like after surgery. After surgery, okay? So I got a bag for that, which I don't even need a bag for that, but I'll just stuff this on this side. I'll just stuff that on this side. And then I have me some comfy little socks that i can put over if my feet are still too cold because my feet do get cold i put those right here just one pair so this whole entire side is packed already booyah there we go so in is that it i've got benadryl my iron pills um i have um my sea moss and i have my um i've got my sea moss pills that's also that i'm going to be taking I got my Benadryl. That's stuff I got to put right here. So now I can close this side. The only thing I need to get is my Arnica tea and my um my Arnica tablets. All right. Now, oh oh, 
This is what we're missing. Josiah! Yes. Did you answer the door? Who are you talking to? I can't hear you, Did you hear the door? No. I think Mr. Ronnie rang the doorbell. Oh. All right. Here is. Here's my. um. Where did I get your seamless pills from? What pills? Jersey girl, what pills are you talking about, boo? What happened? So here is my robe. What do you mean he's not coming? He's not coming where? Anyway, okay. Anyway, here is my robe. Now, if I don't feel or look like a queen in this, I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, the sea moss. I purchased this from um, a massage therapist that was up here who bought that, who, who, who I bought that from. But you can go on, I think you can get on Amazon or you can go to yourself to like a health food store and you can order some sea moss as well. Okay, so here's my robe. This is my robe that I'm wearing right out of surgery. Okay. I think this was like $21, I think. I think. I'm not sure. D Tasha, I don't care if it gets marked up. It's black. So I got me a black robe. Look, I'm a, look this is going to be me. Coming out of surgery like this, look. Look, look. This is going to be me, look. <laughs> you see that arch hoodie? Do you see that? Do you see that? It's going to be scary. I'm going to be scared. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Do you... 21, $21 at Wally World Girlfriends, honey. Look, y'all think it's a joke? <laughs> Baby. Baby. Okay. That's going to be me. Now we're gonna take this right here. We're gonna put this in my suitcase. That goes right here in my suitcase. Booyah. Um, here's going to be my little neck massager. Here's my little slippers. I purchased this um, at Walgreens. This is what I'm gonna be wearing out of surgery. I don't care if it gets messed up. I don't care. Um, get blood on it. Don't care. You could always, you could always wash it. It's not a big deal. Well, more than, more than likely I wear these around the house. I have, it's slide on slippers, right? Where are my slippers? Well, these are my old slippers. So maybe I still take this. These are my old slippers. I've had these for, these are like 10 years old, but I have these. I wash my, um, my, a lot of my clothes and stuff in vinegar because it holds the cotton and helps it. Okay. So look. I'm going to use these old slippers right out of surgery. But while I'm in the house, I'll be wearing these little cute little sexy ones right here. Okay? So we're going to put this right here. All right? We're going to put that right here. So I don't think this suitcase is going to do. So this suitcase right here is the one I'm going to pack. But at least I've got everything. I got this suitcase today at Burlington Coats Factory. The regular price for this suitcase was $39.99. Why? Well, I got it for $9.99 at Burlington Coats Factory, guys. She rung it up and it came up to $9.99. And I got a suitcase, yo, for $9.99. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? $9.99. So while I'm there, this is going to be me on the flight like this. What? In style, baby, okay? <laughs> Let's not play. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now, um, the next thing that we are missing, we have our outfits. Here they go. This is my mumu that I'm going to be wearing. Here's my mumu right here that I'm going to be wearing right out of surgery. This, this, is, this can get dirty. I don't care. But I'm going to be wearing this for surgery. You will not be wearing a lot of clothes. Do not bring a lot of clothes with you. Honey, you could just bring yourself. They're going to wash it anyway. Even if it gets stained, even if this gets stained, it's not going to be a big deal because you see all these patterns on it, right? Go to yourself to Gabe's or go to Ross and get yourself a muumuu. And this is what you wear for surgery. And keep it cute and keep it moving, okay? That is it. With my robe on and I'm done. You see that? 
You can wash it, it can get dirty, it can get bloody, it doesn't make a difference, it doesn't matter. Okay? Okay, let's do that. Let's tie this back. Like this, like so. So this is surgery. This is a surgery outfit. What time is your flight to head there? Six something in the morning, so I'll be arriving there at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, bleeding and things like that, this is why I'm wearing this. I bought this as well. So you won't see blood. You won't see anything. So this is what I'm going to be wearing right here. And on top of my faha, I also have one black... Uh, tights that I'm wearing right here because I'm sure that it may be in the recovery house is going to be cold. This is the only black pants that I'm going to wear right here. Okay. Booyah. Here we go right there. Okay. That's it. I'm going to also be wearing this. Um, I'm also going to be wearing more than likely I'm going to be wearing, I don't know what I'm going to be wearing there, but I'm thinking that I'm going to wear a dress and it could be that mumu right there. I haven't decided yet. I'll figure that out in a minute, okay? Those are my pants with that. That's my pajamas. So this is basically mainly what I'm going to be wearing while I'm there with my faha. You do not need to pack a lot of clothes. You don't need to do that at all. Now, I do want to bring something that I want to try on. Um, because I'm still going to be bleeding. This is the outfit that I want to try on after surgery, okay? This right here. So I'm bringing this with me <laughs> when I'm going to try this on Sunday. This is when I'm going to, I'm going to try this on Sunday. Hopefully that I'm not bleeding a lot and I can just try this on and see how that looks. So maybe I can just wait till I get home. Maybe I can wait till I get, no, I'm going to bring it anyway. I don't care. I'm going to bring it anyway. So you might just want to bring like one dress with you and a little cute little outfit if you want to. If you, you can just wait till you get home. Maybe I'll just wait till I get home. I haven't decided yet. Now I was going to bring like a. Uh, a pajama set with me like it was just going to be like a shirt you know a shirt and my pajama pants that I'm wearing like this so I can be comfortable I think I'm still going to take it anyway <laughs> I don't care I'm going to take it anyway so that's that's all the clothes that I'm bringing so I've got the 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 outfit that I'm wearing that I'm going to be wearing to surgery I have one also extra, another pajama that I can put on right after I take my shower. Um, I've got that. And then I have one more outfit and that's that. Booyah. Now we're going to go to my faha. All right. I have fajas from Curvy Gal and I have fajas from Ghost Plastic Surgery and I have fajas from, um, what do you call the place? Um, what is, what are they called again? Um, Amazon. I don't think this is the one that I wanted to bring with me. I, I'm probably gonna, this is my curvy gal faha. Where's my other faha? Okay, there they go, right here. So here is my curvy gal's faha. Okay, this is my stage, this is gonna be my stage two. This was my actual stage three faha last year. This is gonna be my stage two faha. So I'm bringing this faha with me. I might buy a faha while I am there, maybe, I'm not sure. We're just gonna see how this is going to work. Now, at, while they're washing, this is the faha that New Life is going to give you, okay? This is the faha that they put on me after surgery. I still have it to this day. And this is when they wash me, when they're washing my other faha, I'm going to be wearing the faha that they gave me. All right? That's that. While I'm there. Because, you know, by the week later, you're going to start going down. Within two weeks, you'll be going down. You don't want to be too compressed because you don't want to be in pain. Okay? Yes, exactly. You don't want to be in pain. Okay? So, here is the, this is going to be my second faha for after while they're washing my first faha. That's that. That's totally really all I need. I don't need anything else. Now I do have a bonnet. What was this? Oh, this was, was that a robe? Where's that little black robe? I know I had one. I could swear I did pack it. Oh, look, look. Oh, I have one right here. <laughs> so here's my other, um, my top. See, I had two of these. So this is what I plan to bring with me while I'm there so that I can be able to wear my faha or, you know, the faha that they give me. Cause you remember I told you your breasts, this doesn't cover, this is not going to cover your breasts due to the fact that it's not going to cover your breasts. You're going to need tank tops. Now I was going to, I was think I wanted to do arm lipo, but I think I can work my arms out. Um, I still might do it. We'll see how I feel, but I, I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll decide um, once I see Dr. Doback. Okay. Once I see her, she'll let me know. 
I'm like, hey, hey, Renee, you know, should I get it? Should I not get it? If she says nay, then I won't get arm lipo and I'll just leave it alone. So, oh, also, make sure you bring yourself, because um, depending, I'm not sure if they're going to be putting anything down your throat. I don't know if it's just for, for tummy tuck, but make sure that you bring some cough drops with you, okay? Make sure you pack some cough drops. Do not forget this, okay? Okay, do not. All right, that's that. So, we got that in there. We got the cough drops in there. Okay, we got that. Um, I don't need towels. My recovery house already has that. Make sure you bring a shower cap with you. Pack your shower cap. Make sure you have your head scarf or a bonnet so that you don't get your hair wet. Let's put that in here as well. We got that. And guys, that's basically everything that I needed to pack. I don't need to pack. I don't need to pack anything else. I'm good. And that's what you need for surgery. Um, if I could fit everything that you see right here in this suitcase, can you see that? If I can fit everything right here in this suitcase right here, girl. Matter of fact, let me try to. Let me see if I can create some type of magic here because if I can, it would really be on and popping. So let's try to roll things up very small, okay? If, if we can like pack it up really, really small so everything can fit. This is my little pants right here. Here's a little outfit right there. Just pack everything really, really small, nice and tight. Look, I don't care if I roll it up. It'll be okay. As, look, as long as it fits, I'm good. Pajama, pajama in there, pajama, pajama in there. Okay, we have our slippers in there. Where's my slipper? There's a slipper. Slipper, slipper in here. Okay. You welcome, boo. You welcome. You welcome. We got the slipper in there. We have the faha. We got an extra faha. We got two fahas right here. We're going to put that right in there. You know what? Yep, we got that in there. And guys, maybe all my stuff is going to fit. Ooh, look. I just have to figure this one out. If I can get this one in there, I will be all the way straight. Oh, there was one more thing that I forgot. Oh, the last thing I'm missing is my BBL pillow. <laughs> now, will my BBL pillow fit in here? Uh, I doubt that. So it looks like I'm gonna end up. Yep. So I, I'm going to have to transfer to my big one because my BBL pillow has to fit in there. Um, the last thing that I missed out on you. Go get yourself a fanny pack from Walmart, okay? This cost me $12.97. Go to Walmart and get yourself a fanny pack so that you can keep all your belongings, your wallet, your cell phone, everywhere in one place. So you do not forget anything. You don't miss anything. While I go to sleep at night. Everything, all my important things are going to be right in here, okay? Everything that's important to me is going to be right in here. I am also planning to buy myself a, a little tiny lock so I can put a lock in on here and I'm the only one who has access to it. So my phone will be right here, okay? My, my money is going to be in here and everything that I need and I just put like a little, you know, a little lock on it or whatever, okay? So, um... That's what I recommend so you don't have to do too much. So all you'll have is your suitcase and your fanny pack. So I really pray that, guys, that this information was really informative. I pray that it hits you in the most in the most positive and the most best of spirits. Thank you for everybody who's joining in. And everybody who came in and didn't say nothing, you will not be on my live anymore. I will block your ass because I already said that. Please do not join my life and not fellowship. This is a place where I want everybody to be able to share information. We help each other. We motivate each other. We encourage each other, okay? I don't need lurkers on my personal page. So God bless you all, sisters, and I will see you guys later. All right. Bye. <laughs>